Hello, my soccer universe, to the final part of the Women's World Cup jersey review. I think next I have to do either Copa America or the Africa Cup of Nations. Probably Copa America, I don't know. We have to see how it uh, will pan out for me. Uh, for this last part, I'm wearing, of course, the US Nike Centennial jersey from 2013. I haven't made a video of that one. Uh, this is my absolute favorite US jersey. Um, I got it right before leaving for America. It's kind of a memento, 10 years being in America. More on that, if I make a specialized video, I will on that one. My wife has the same jersey, almost the same. She has two stars here because back then the women, US women were twice world champions. Now they're three, they're about to become four. Let's see. We'll start, of course, with the US because they're the top seed in this group. Um, and they play, the home jersey is the typical white uh, jersey that we would expect, but it has a little bit more. It doesn't have only navy trimmings. This time around it also has a little bit of red, which I think looks overall quite nice. Uh, if you look at the jersey white, then you have the red and the navy on the sleeves. I like that. I'm not so sure about the um, red inset on the front. That one I could probably imagine a little bit more navy blue, so a little bit more trimmed in navy blue. I do like this, the red swoosh that's outlined, that looks pretty cool. The new crest, honestly, if you ask me, this should be the US crest. It really should be this and nothing else. Um, the new one is better than the old um, crest, which was a lot like clip art. It looks a little bit more classy. Um, I just think, you know, you have the stripes, but where are the stars? Yes, you have the three stars on top, but there should be a little bit more stars in there. CONCACAF crests are usually a um, very dreary affair. One of the best features of the shirt is, of course, the taping on the back with three stars repeated, again for the three uh, World Championships. But then uh, there's an additional effect on there that uh, is very hard to see. The body of the jersey is made of a lot of writing and it's puts the names of all the 50 states in there, which is a nice touch. It's not very, very visible, but at least it celebrates the one nation, one team uh, motto that is already on the inside of the collar. So a really nice touch overall. Is it the greatest US jersey? No, you're looking at the greatest US jersey. Uh, at least in recent times, there's even, um, I think a movement that wants to have that you know that the US home jersey should be uh, red and white hoops in order to reflect the flag, which I actually to a certain uh, extent agree with, although I really like this look a whole lot. So it's not the best jersey, but it's a decent jersey. I don't like it as much as the England jersey, to be honest, and for that reason I'm gonna go a little bit lower than this and uh, just give it a seven star rating. The away jersey for the women has always been a red one, or mostly been a red one as of late. And that's what we get here too, and it's a lot more patriotic than the home design. Oh, let's say obviously patriotic. It is red, and you can clearly see there is stripe, there are stripes in there, and there are stars in there, so it's a typical stars and stripes shirt. Um, Again with the crest, we talked about that on the previous one, uh, swoosh is now white with a silvery outline, which I also think is nice. Same taping on the back with the three stars and the pattern continues on the back. I understand the patriotic shirt, I just find this is a little bit too much. I, it's not in your face, but it's a little bit too much because it's too wild, it's like a street painting. It's kind of all over and then smeared. Um, I really like the idea, I'm just not sure, when I look at it in match, uh, didn't look all that, all that convincing. I would like to have, if they do the stars and stripes, make it a little bit more obvious, not as a, a shadow pattern in light blue on dark, uh, light blue, light red and dark red. Um, I could be a little bit more done there. Um, it is, in a way, US stylish, but you know, for me, yes, I've lived 10 years in the US, it is just honestly a little bit too much. For that reason, I think I can only give this six stars. I think I like the previous versions uh, that I haven't reviewed in any word that would have been played at the Men's World Cup and the women were also wearing, I like those a little bit better than this one. But yeah, you know, you gotta be patriotic if you're the US. 
on to the next team, which is Thailand. Uh, we have reviewed Thailand in the Asian Cup, uh, but the jersey, the home jersey, has used was not used at the Asian Cup. This is a special um, creation for Thailand, for the Thai women, which unfortunately was used in the 13-0 throwing uh, at the hands of the United States, which were wearing the red jerseys, so we see those jerseys uh, back to back. Uh, to my knowledge, this is, I mean, this is done by Vorix, let's do that first, but to my knowledge, I don't know what the Thai home jer dedicated home jersey is. I would expect it's either blue or a red one, it could be also white, but I think blue is more likely. I like this light blue with the, you know, kind of fading stripes, it's not very, you know, you have kind of the Thai flag in there. You have a thin band, a thicker band, and then a thinner, dark blue band. Um, I would have loved it if it was really then also with Thai colors, you know, take the light blue base. I think it's uh, red, white, blue, red, um, red, white, blue, white, red. I think that those are the Thai colors, if I'm not totally mistaken, it could be that way around. If that would be in there in just a faded uh, colors, this would we'll make it even better. It doesn't look bad, I actually like the crest, although I don't know what it really should represent. Then on top the golden stuff is also nice. Uh, just think it's a little bit timid though. But you know, overall I think it's a decent jersey, I would give this a 7 star rating. The away jersey is the same as the men have been using. Um, all uh, stripes, it reminds me a lot about the Portugal 2014 home jersey. Um, it may, comes maybe a little bit too late uh, for uh, to the party, you know, Vorix is kind of trying to copy a style that was used five years ago. I think this with the widening stripes and thinner stripes is so 2014 and 16. We're not using that much any, anymore. Still, it is a nice shirt jersey, I like the colors. I like the way it blends all together. It is a little bit more interesting to look at. I looked at it at the man video above. I gave it seven stars and I will keep my rating there. And they also have a third jersey that I don't know if it will be used. Um, dark blue with uh, just a red accent. A little bit reminds me of the Japan uh, home jersey, the man's home jersey, except with not the patterning on there. I just can say I like dark blue jersey, I like a little bit the textured feel of it. This is a really nice looking one. I want that I, that's the one that I really would like to have on that same it's dark jersey. That's it, that's that. We move on to Chile with the first dedicated Nike jerseys where they get some little extra. The home jersey has eh, not much extra. The crest I think is newish. Uh, kind of this shield, it reminds a little bit of Texas. I mean the Texas and the Chile flags are very, very similar. Um, so it's kind of fitting that US and Chile are in the same group. The jersey is your typical Chile jersey. It is red with a little bit of blue. And I don't remember the last time when Chile jerseys were fancy, except for 1998. Then they were really fancy. But this, it's just your run-of-the-mill Chile jersey in the same template. Very templated. It's a six-star. Nothing crazy, but also nothing really bad. Um, I like that they put the Federation crest kind of as a taping on the back as well. The away jersey is a different story. That's a wild one. That's really a wild one. I think it draws inspiration from the uh, pattern that's also on the inside color, which is probably some sort of tribal pattern related to Chile. I would like to know more. If you know more, please drop a comment below. It's a wild one and it's not as bad as the Dutch away jersey for sure because I don't see this as epilepsy inducing. It's just um, too, almost too patterned on the other side. There's something to like about it. Um, especially since it's white, red, blue going in, in, in and out. as a slight gradient in there. This is very much 2018. I mean Adidas is right out of, the, out of the Adidas book what Adidas has been doing with their jerseys except it doesn't copy a uh, specific style. I really have a hard time grading this one. I like the overall colors. I'm not so sure about the pattern. It's more exciting than the home jersey. For that reason, let's put this on seven stars. And that gets us now to the final nation, Sweden. Sweden equipped by Adidas, so you know what to expect, a specialized home jersey. 
and the away jersey in the same template, if there was a special assumed jersey. I know which template they're going for. This is the 92, 94, uh, Adidas equipment. I mean, they haven't quite decided. The 92 was kind of only on one shoulder. I think it went over this shoulder. And the 94, it had the three going from below. And here it's two coming from the sides. I like the idea. I don't like that it is so zigzaggy, uh, not very clearly defined. It may be that the part on the proper left could be a representation of the shape of the country. But this is really with a lot of squinting and whatever and a little bit knowing of how Sweden looks like. I don't think this was intentional. I Honestly, I don't like this all that much. Uh, I wanted that Sweden uses this as inspiration for the World Cup in Russia. Same what Mexico used. This is too messy to me. I really don't like it. I really don't like it. I like the idea behind it. I also don't like that the crest is so different blue than the rest of the blue used on there. I'm gonna give this four stars. Uh, it is interesting, but I really cannot give this more than four stars. And the final jersey is the big <laughs> unseen jersey. This one I only find promo picks or match picks. The Sweden away jersey. Same style as uh, Germany has, as Spain has, as Scotland has, just in different colors. The colors are good. It's dark blue and then you have a little bit of yellow, but you know, it's not very original. And again, the crest doesn't really pop. It actually looks a little bit better if you look at in-game pictures where the yellow is even more popping. On the promo pictures, the yellow is kind of this faded shade. On the in-game pictures, uh, everything is a little bit more saturated. I don't necessarily like the shoulders, only one color. A darker one and then the shirt is a little bit blue this looks a little bit detached overall but you know those jerseys hit my hit my sweet spot the color especially it hits a little bit of a sweet spot is it very original no but it's also not a bad jersey and for that reason where shall i go let's give this another seven stars i think you know it's probably one of the better versions of a template that is all right, but you know, if it's so ubiquitous, I don't like it too much. We're done. You've seen all the jerseys of the Men's World Cup, I hope. I hope that it's really that the information that I got was right. Let me know what you thought about these jerseys in there. I think the best jersey in this whole video is this one that I'm wearing, and I will soon do a video on these uh, probably probably you, you will get one tomorrow because uh, those are the women's jerseys uh, and you know, I have a dedicated women's jersey. My wife has it and I have the male's equivalent. So I probably will do a video until I tell you a little bit more about that one. All right, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Drop comments below of what ratings you would give to these jerseys and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos, jersey reviews, match reviews, um, whatever comes to my mind, tournament previews. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.